Thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Nicole Griffin. On Friday, a Bloomington hotel closed its doors abruptly, canceling reservations. WRTV's Cornelius Hawker shows us how the closure is linked to the pandemic. I went to IU for my undergrad, so I know that the hotels book up for home football games months and months and months ahead of time. To beat the crowd, Audrey Fox booked a hotel online well in advance to spend her birthday weekend rooting for the Hoosiers in Bloomington. Back in early July, I got online and the Wingate had some of the nicer rooms that were still a reasonable price for a home football weekend. And so I went ahead and booked through Hotels.com, had no problem. Audrey tells me her sister did the same, but around two weeks ago, something odd happened. She called me about a week and a half ago and said, hey, my reservation just got canceled. And so I immediately called the hotel and asked if my reservation was still valid, and they said it was. Audrey's sister sent her this email from the site she used to book the hotel. It detailed how the Wingate by Wyndham Bloomington wouldn't be able to honor the reservation, saying operations will permanently close on October 1st. I had my husband call a few days later, and he was able to get someone at the front desk that eventually admitted, yeah, we are closing down and your reservation is going to be canceled. Well, this was a Surprising to people like Audrey, Patrick Tame, president and CEO of the Indiana Restaurant and Lodging Association, says it's not unheard of during these difficult economic times. A lot of hotels have been really stretched awfully thin. A recent report estimates Indiana hotels will be down around $650 million in business travel revenue. That business travel is really kind of the lifeblood of hotels on that Sunday night, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Patrick explains hotels missing out on that business travel revenue are still playing catch up from last year, especially in cities like Bloomington. College towns last year, you know, frankly, you didn't allow guests on campus. You didn't have fans on in the stands at football games or basketball games or soccer games for that matter. Back to Audrey, she just feels lucky she was able to find a different room and hopes others with trips upended by Wingate's closure can do the same. Our trip is still over a month out, but for people that maybe are trying to get a homecoming room, like this is going to be a huge wrench in their plans. So I wanted somehow to let people know. In Bloomington, Cornelius Hawker, WRTV. Cornelius, thank you. And we, we reached out to Wingate by Wyndham to learn more about the reason for the closure and canceled reservations, but we are still waiting to hear back. We do know the hotel was sold to a company that plans to convert the buildings into apartments. Visit Bloomington tells WRTV the hotel closing won't have a huge impact on people visiting the area because they mostly had long-term extended stay customers.